Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. So for today, we are unpackaging another Planner Kate haul, another order. So this is actually the February kits that I ordered and I picked up some extra stuff as well because I couldn't get enough of Black Friday stuff. So I went ahead and picked up extra stuff because I didn't get to pick up everything that I wanted. So let's get started. So the first thing I will show you guys um, is the Planner Kate business card that comes in every order. And of course the Planner Kate sticker. And then you get five freebies um, with each order. So let me show you those. Yay! <laughs> I haven't gotten one, one of these yet and it is the weather and so you have a variation of sunny, cloudy, snow, raining, thunderstorms, and stuff like that. And I believe you can order these as like full sheets as well. I also got this script one. This is one that I've had in the past. So it just has like babysitting, um, tuition, mani-pedi cleaning, and other things like that. I got another water one. I got another book one. I love this. I'm so excited. And I just bought a new book today. So I'm so excited to use that. And then the last one is this one. It is a, I guess this is like a half box and it has polka dot uh, trim on this, on the edges. I haven't seen this before. I saw Sarah Marie um, talk about these and how these are some of her favorites, but I hadn't seen them in the samplers and I to be honest I don't remember seeing them on Etsy as well but I'm excited to give these a shot because they looked really pretty when she played with them all right so those are the five freebies that I got love those and then I also picked up a sampler pack as well I'm obsessed with these because these are so easy to take on the go with you so all right first ones first a half box uh, for checklists so there's that icons these always come in handy bill do ooh look we got another one that's exciting okay this is the dorky doodle um and these are different tasks so laundry vacuum clean bathroom etc and i haven't had one of these before so i'm excited to have this now Here's some um, two-tone quarter boxes. Good. Some more checklists. Some more icon quarter boxes. I like these. These are really handy if you have like a haircut or anything like that. You can quickly just write down. I guess you could either put the time or if you have an hourly, you can place it at the time and then just input what other information you want. Ooh, this one's a new one. I haven't gotten this one either. So it is, looks like you have a rainbow half box, two quarter boxes, and then some icons and then some other things right there. I haven't had this one before. I'm excited to try that. And in the sampler one, you get 10. And then this is the last one. So then I got another one of the weather icons. So that's exciting. So that was what I got in my sampler. This is a great deal. If, even if you are kind of on the fence of, hey, should I try stickers out or not? I think uh, this is a great deal with Planner Kate. It's 250 and you get 10 sheets. So you get a good variety of different ones if you just wanna start with a small amount of stickers before you get into the kits and things like that. So I would highly, highly recommend them. All right, so then I did pick up the kits. So let me pull those out because I picked up kits and other things because you know, I just can't get enough. So let me separate them. Did I, you guys, I don't remember getting this many. Okay, first ones first. I picked up this one. It is super pretty. It's kit 110A and it's the full and half boxes. And so I do have a vertical that I'll be using in 2019 for memory keeping. I think I haven't, I'm kind of going back and forth on that decision now. I may just use it both planners. I'm not sure. Um, 
I don't know. I had an idea, I bought the planner, and now I'm like second guessing it, so we'll see. So these are super pretty, I really like um, this one and then that one, so. And the thing is, I'm not the biggest pink person. Like purple is fine, like purple used to be my favorite color, but I'm just not the biggest pink person, so I was nervous because February, of course, is all pink. But, so here is one of the first ones that I picked up. It's kit 108D, and this is the sampler, the EC sampler. And I get this for my hourly, because I don't need that many stickers. I end up using like half of them, probably, so. And I thought this one was very Valentine's y esque at least for me. Like I said, I'm not the biggest pink person, but it's growing on me, and I think this is a really pretty kit. All right, this next one I'm gonna show you is my favorite one. Oh my gosh, is this thing not gorgeous? Like this flower print, as soon as I saw it on her Facebook page where she was giving sneak peeks, this I knew instantly that I had to get this one. I'm obsessed with it. It's just so freaking pretty. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's see, and then Oh, I then, in that same print, I went ahead and picked up the kit 109A, so the uh, half boxes and full boxes for my vertical planner. I just, is this is just stunning. That's literally all I can say is just this is a stunning print. So pick that one up. And then I also picked this one up. And this is the one that... I'm thinking of using on Valentine's Day. Like I said, I'm not the biggest pink person. We don't, I mean, we don't really celebrate Valentine's. Um, we don't think that we need a holiday for it. I mean, it's fun just, you know, for that day to show an extra, you know, love notion to your significant other, but we just, it's not really big for us. Um, this is mini kit 113A, but I just think this one is such a pretty, kit i love the colors i love the arrows like even this full box that says love and it's just really pretty so there's that and then in that um same style i picked up the half and full boxes and i think this is pretty as well and i like how it is the little skinny washi on the side so we'll see how i'm going to use that um are those the okay and then for the monthlies i picked up this one this one is super pink but i wanted to step outside my comfort zone so there's that and remember the new layout or format of her kits the days of the week are attached to the top washi and i just i think this is very pink but i also think it's just very simple and that's what really attracted me to it and this is kit 110f if you are interested then the next kit I picked up was this one, of course. Um, this is kit 109F. I just, like I said, I just think it's a stunning, stunning piece. All right, let me make sure that's all of them because I feel like I've got something else. Oh, here's some other ones. There we go. I knew I picked something else up. Um, and then I picked up kit 109q and this is in that same flower print so i decided to pick this up because sometimes i don't finish the entire kit and i want to be able to use it again uh, because my goal is i'm picking up about 75 percent of the kits that i need for the month from planner kate and then the other 25 percent i am just using what i have left over or any of my air and conjuring things so I decided to pick this up because I thought this would be helpful. And some of these, besides like the very flowery prints, I think the other ones would be good to mix and match with other kits that I have. So there's that one. And then I did the same thing with this one. This is kit 110Q. So let me, so it goes along with this one as well. So I thought it was going to be fun to try. And plus these strips of washi are, I think, they're dollar fifty, so it's nice to kind of just test things out and see whether you like it. And the thing, so I'm not the biggest fan of skinny washi, like it is very skinny, you guys. But the good thing about this is I have a lot of actual washi tape that I have, and I haven't really been using since I started using kits. So I wanted to incorporate it in some of my planning. So I figured if I mixed it with a skinnier washi, that might help. So we'll see how that goes. And then the last couple of things that I picked up. Um, are for my budget planner. Yeah. 
So I saw Jen Plans and Sarah uh, Marie use this method and I use it in my current, I wouldn't even call it a planner, it's just a notebook, but I figured this would be easier if I color coded it. I have it color coded, but I just like highlight things so it doesn't really make the biggest sense, especially if, I, if like Henry needs to look at it, I, it's, it makes sense in my head. So for more clarity in the planning, I just picked up a couple of these. So I picked one up in peach, green, blue, and yellow, and I'm really not sure yet how I'm gonna use them, but I thought these would be helpful. And then the, the cool thing is, is that I've gotten some in samples, uh, samplers, and then I think I picked up just a random sheet as well. So I'm gonna figure that out. If you guys are interested to see how that pans out, let me know down below and I'd be happy to share that with you. But yeah, so that is everything that I picked up from Planner Kate's uh, for her February releases. I think that these are some beautiful kits. I will say it was very hard to figure out what I was going to pick because like I said, I'm not the biggest pink person. So that was a slight struggle, but I think she did a fantastic job of melding different colors and just adding other elements. So people who maybe aren't that interested in the pinks have some options, but that's just my opinion. So let me know down below if you guys picked up anything during her February release and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.